This procedure covers the techniques for identifying various coatings so that the appropriate coating removal method can be selected. The minimum skill level needed to complete this procedure reliably is advanced. The conformance level reached when this procedure is completed properly is high. The procedure follows. To determine the appropriate coating removal procedure, the coating must first be identified. During original manufacture, the specific coating is usually known. Consequently, the coating removal methods can usually be specified based on the known coatings being used. When identification of the coating is not available, simple observation and testing will help identify the coating characteristics so that the proper removal procedure can be specified. The generic or commercial identification of the coating material is not necessary to accomplish coating removal. Test 1. Hardness. Conduct a penetration test in a non-critical area to determine relative hardness. The harder the coating, the more suitable it will be to abrasive removal techniques. The softer and gummier the coating, the more suitable to chemical or brushing removal procedures. Test 2. Transparency. Transparent coatings are usually more easily removed than opaque coatings. Removal methods used with opaque coatings must be far more controllable to prevent damage to components and printed board surfaces. Removal of opaque coatings is typically more time-consuming. Test 3. Solubility. Test the coating for solubility characteristics in a non-critical area with trichloroethane, xylene, or other solvents with low toxicity and mild activity. Test 4. Thermal removal. Use a thermal parting device with controlled heating and without a cutting edge to determine whether the coating can be thermally removed. Start with a low temperature, approximately 100 degrees Celsius, 210 degrees Fahrenheit, and increase the temperature until the coating is removed. If the coating flows or gums up, the coating may not be suitable for thermal removal. Test 5. Stripability. Carefully slit the coating with a sharp blade in a non-critical area and try to peel it back from the surface to determine if this method is feasible. Due to the adhesion required of coating materials, strippable techniques without a chemical aid is usually very limited. Test 6. Thickness. Determine if the coating is thick or thin by visual means. Thick coatings usually require two-step removal methods to prevent surface damage to the circuit board. First, reduce the thick coating down to a thin one and then use pure abrasion methods to reach the surface of the board. The specified coating to be removed may have one or more of these characteristics and consequently the removal method selected should consider the composite characteristics. If you need further help and prefer to send your circuit boards out for repair or rework, contact Circuit Technology Center. If you wish to purchase the tools and materials needed to complete this procedure at your facility, contact Circuit Medic.